Welcome to the first video in this free business planning course. We're going to start off the course by looking at the sales forecast. So this is a sales forecast that I have in front of me. Please remember throughout this course that I have not created these forecast projections and other documents um, for presentation. And the purposes of these videos are purely just to show you how to compile um, these parts of the business plan and what they're used for rather than making the document look nice. Um, follow the steps that I give in each video but then spend your own time um, presenting it how you wish. So this is a sales forecast, it's a three year sales forecast. There's a lot of information here and it may be a bit overwhelming at first but stick with the video um, and I'll explain things as we go on. So I'll be using Microsoft Excel. I have Excel up in front of me here. And we'll start off by merging column B to column O. And then we'll drag that down. So we have two boxes at the top here. And I was also going to mention that this sales forecast may go over a couple of videos. I don't know how long it's going to take to go through the sales forecast so at the end of this video there may be a link to the second part of this video or even three parts at the top here let's put in sales forecast I'm trying to type with one hand so i'm not the quickest and this sales forecast is going to be for a business that's selling products you can obviously make a sales forecast for services too you just need to change um, the title from products to service and what that service is um, I'm going to put product A as the heading there may be a number of products and we're creating a sales forecast per product if we are selling services then per service and we can then put the name of the business down here so I'll put my business name in And then we can put a date of preparation. So prepared August 2014. We're then going to highlight from B3 down to B15. Merge and center. And then we'll do D to E, merge and center. Then drag that across to O and then drag that right down like so nice and easy we're then going to drag from B16 to B27 merge and center and then we'll do that again now I get asked quite a lot why don't I just adjust the size of these columns I just prefer to merge and center um, I believe it just saves me a bit of time if I'm dragging columns I have to adjust the column then center it I prefer just to click merge and center okay and here we're going to put year one right click format sales alignment orientation click text click OK and there we have it we can center that and make it bold perhaps make it a bit bigger very good type in year two year three do the same right click format cells text OK format cells text OK Let's center these and make them bold. Now the titles we're going to use are month, units sold. If you're providing a service, this could be hours sold. 
cost per unit. Sell price. Now as this sales forecast comes together, this will make a lot more sense to you why I'm putting these headings in and you'll be able to see what we can take from this sales forecast. We'll then put in revenue, gross profit, and then gross profit. percentage make units sold in bold and also revenue gross profit and gross profit percentage bold we can send to the month in here put Jan return and then just drag it down It'll do the months for you, right down to the bottom. So I'm starting in January. Obviously, you can start <clears throat> in the month that's applicable for your business. P14 to Q14, Merchant Center, drag down and drag across. We'll do the same down here. So P26 to Q26, Merchant Center drag down, drag across, and do the same down here. So that's P38, P39. Total gross profit. Total revenue. Make that bold, copy, paste, paste again. So our template looks like this. And in the next video, I will start to go through this sales forecast, what it's used for, why it's so important. And we start to fill in these columns here and make use of the template that we have made. Please click on the link to continue. Thank you for watching.